Hey guys, my name is James Kim and today I'll be describing the use of one brain imaging technology in investigating the relationship between biological factors and behavior. So brain imaging technology gives us a chance to look into our brains quite physically and although not crystal clear, these images give psychologists a, a glimpse into our brain for them to study how biological systems within our bodies are influenced by our behaviors. So one type of brain imaging technology is an MRI scan. MRI scans, aka the, the magnetic resonance imaging, creates images of the brain by using the energy emitted by hydrogen atoms when put through a magnetic field. So I drew, I drew, I drew a rough sketch of it. It looks pretty scuffed, but I hope you get the idea. Um, this allows doctors to map out the brain based on hydrogen atom concentration and after the hydrogen atoms are excited by the magnetic field, they return to their equilibrium states. In fact, each tissue differs, differs in the time the hydrogen atoms take to return back to equilibrium, which is also analyzed and contributes to the overall mapping of the brain. An MRI scan can be used to observe differences in amount of brain tissue across time. So for instance, an MRI scan can reveal pieces of evidence of learning by analyzing the increase of brain tissue in certain areas of brain. This is true for the opposite as well. So for for example, if you took like three months to learn a new language, an MRI scan starting from the start of the three months and the end of the three months would be significantly different in brain mass and brain sizes in certain areas of our brain. And this shows how be, be, this shows how a behavior such as learning can physically affect biological factors such as brain mass or size. So a study that can be used to help demonstrate how brain imaging technology can help investigate the relationship between biological factors and the um, and how behaviors affect them is Kropinski et al. So the aim of the study is to find how learning can actually affect the brain. And to help me with this study, please welcome my best friend, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, Mar Martha Stewart's here is also. She's not relevant, but Snoop Dogg. <laughs> so basically, I will be playing the part of Jurginski and the whole research team, and my man Snoop Dogg will be one of the subjects so will Martha Stewart. So basically, I am going to require Snoop Dogg to juggle, to learn how to juggle for the next three months. Martha Stewart, she, she could do whatever she wants for those next three months. She just needs to do her regular routine. I don't care, she's irrelevant. But Snoop Dogg, yeah, Snoop Dogg. I'm going to make him learn how to juggle for the next three months and Every single day of those three months, he's going to learn a juggling routine. And every day, he needs to do this for 60 seconds. Right? So, and after those three months, I will then let him do whatever he wants. He doesn't need to practice his juggling routine after the, the, in the, next, in the next set of three months. So, first three months, He's gonna be juggling like a madman. Next three months, he can smoke all the weed he wants. I, he, he lives his own life, you know? So basically, at the beginning of those first three months, I'm going to make him, I'm gonna take a brain scan, an MRI scan of his brain and Martha Stewart's brain. Then after those three months, same MRI scan. And then after the next set of three months, another MRI scan. So in total, those are three MRI scans, right? You ready, Snoop? Have fun. Three months later, this is Snoop's brain. He's a smart guy, look how big his brain is. So basically, if you look at these yellow spots, right? Those yellow spots actually indicate the increase in brain tissue in Snoop's brain. Why did his brain tissue increase because of learning. After learning how to juggle for three months every day, 
his brain actually increased in tissue size, and this is even seen in the Goskin box and whisker graph, where in the first scan, before the three months of learning, he was actually at 0% change in green matter, right? But if you look close, if you look at the next box and whisker graph, in the second scan, the percent change in green matter jumped from 0 to almost 3.5. So that proved, that shows how, through learning, Snoop's brain actually increased not only in tissue size, but also in mass. And then after, on this scan three, which is after he was required not to learn for the next three months, his brain, the percent change in green matter dropped from 3.5 to 2.5. So it was about like a 1% decrease. So this shows how learning, a behavior like learning, actually physically change the brain and how it and can affect a biological factor of the body be it a lack of learning or a surplus of learning it could affect how our bio biology is displayed once again give it up for Snoop Dogg yeah thank you my man what a cool guy Martha Stewart she could, yeah, she did, she did stuff too. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh man. D just, just as an FYI, I, I love Martha Stewart. I have nothing against her. I just prefer Snoop Dogg. Please don't take offense, Martha Stewart. I, I love your cooking stuff.